But yeah, you know, you put so much into the application and you don't get it. But it's really been a blessing um, that I wasn't expecting. So in August 2022, we all submitted an application and two schools were selected for cohort one. The remaining four went on to be cultivation schools. I think one of the things that was really important to us is for any school that raised their hand and said that they felt ready to take on redesign, that even if they weren't selected for cohort one, that they still continue to have the opportunity to implement their redesigns. And so the cultivation schools are schools that have had another year to refine their bold ideas and their visions. This place has a real legacy in the city, but there's been so much change also. Students are like, wow, it's, it's really exciting to see what Coolidge is transforming into. Most of our feedback for the cultivation schools were that, you know, it was great, right? But how can we make this cohesive and make it so that people, no matter who is speaking to it, can understand our model? We've really just done more research. So our four key pillars are wellness, sustainable development, we have action research, and travel. When we first submitted our application, the UN Sustainable Development Goals were a part of our vision. We were really using it more as like an instructional tool, but as we've really done deep research on what are the UN Sustainable Development Goals, why are they important? And being able to really tie like how having a sustainable focus as a school will help us with the other areas that our school really wanted to focus on, which was having more rigorous hands-on experiences, being able to travel, being able to focus on wellness, and giving kids choice in what they're researching, and giving them the opportunity to apply projects of change nationally and locally, and that they're able to take those goals and say, like, how do these pertain to me in my life, and what am I most affected by? What is my community most affected by? We want to, here in D.C., be the leaders of Youth Voice around the Sustainable Development Goals so that we're ending poverty and we're making the world just a safer and better place. I think that in the cultivation process, like, you've been talking about your model for so long that now your staff and your community, your students, they want to start to see some things in action. And so this semester, one of the things that we're doing is our capstone class. Look, look, look. This is a draft, School of Environmental Security, Food Waste. And you've had nothing but talkies, right? It's like, now I'm pretty tired. And so then I'm going to not learn and I'm going to be angry and like all kinds of stuff, right? So I'm, I'm interested in how that may tie into mental health. This is going to be for them their first real research project. Like the first time they've ever conducted research, picked their own topic, gone without a prompt, um, and then submitted a somewhere between five to ten page write, written paper with sort of a sustainable development, Smithsonian student research writing sort of first knock. My current project is the effects of food delivery apps on students within schools. So like how Uber Eats or DoorDash can affect the nutrition and it also does affect um, things like trash waste, food waste within the school. So yeah, that's why I really feel like I should really speak on that topic. Research not only gets you interested in the thing you're interested in, but shows you all these other areas. Oh, I didn't really see how, you know, the deer population in a city can open up transportation issues. And I didn't see how that relates to maybe biking, but then how that also relates to deforestation. And then you start wondering, oh, well, what else is connected to this? And then that's where you start becoming interested in other people's experiences and what's going on in the world. And it starts with something you like, and then it becomes, oh, I see all these other connections I didn't know were there and now I'm interested in all these things. This capstone project, it can open doors for you that you wouldn't even know, and it can also broaden your mind, and you can like think about things that you didn't even know you cared about. It's like you can make a change with the small steps that you did within the project. I did not imagine being able to teach sustainability research writing as my job at Coolidge before this process started. I was like, I could do this for a long time. So it really changed what I wanted to do with my future. 
Our vision is that students graduate with a better understanding of themselves and that they are able to implement sustainable practices in projects of change across the world. Our tagline is transforming students so that they can transform the world. We want you to leave Coolidge High School being a better person and being someone that can give back to your community.